Okay, for our final test, what we're going to be doing is changing the WAN settings to mimic a 3G connection. And I ran the speed test application on my iPhone 4 connected to Rogers in Canada. Rogers is our provider. And what I found in terms of average bandwidth, I got a 2.25 down. And I got, uh, let me see, a 330k up. And latency, amazingly, I got around 112. So 56 each way, I'll add. So we have 112 milliseconds of latency. Loss, I'm living the way it is. I know it's higher. But I'll leave at 0.2% packet loss. Let's apply changes. And now let's go back to our Windows XP, SP3 VM. Let's start with RDP first. Same deal, PDF scrolling. Let's see how it goes. Yeah, we can definitely see the screen refresh. Even on plain text, like when there is a picture, then it's even worse. If we try to scroll, yeah, okay, so that's the PDF. Now go back to the Flash website that you guys are probably tired of watching now. And well, as expected, it is bad. If we go our videos, let's see. Well, this particular video, very, very bad performance, like audio is very choppy and we get a couple of frames at the most per second, well, not even one frame per second, I would say. So I guess we can stop this and now run the exact same thing again over Eric on Blaze. Eric on Blaze client connects let's wait for the server manager crap to show up then now let's see the PDF performance Scrolling is better. Hey, you don't see the screen refreshes like you see on a plain RDP connection. So better performance over my typical 3G connection, yes. It's not bad at all. It's better. I think users would be able to live with this performance. And now we're gonna watch the flash video again. As we saw previously under the typical like cross country WAN connection, it wasn't that impressive, but it was better than RDP. It should be the case again. Not perfect, but better. Very choppy audio, but better. Now, what we can try quickly 
is to change a setting on the Ericon Blaze client. Try to thing to to make things faster. So we reduce the quality. Uh, let's see, fastest fair quality. Let's try that. Let's see what happens. I just want to see if it's really that noticeable. Well, we can see the icons now and even the text, like you can see the artifacts around. But it's still, this almost looks like PC over IP. PC over IP does that when there is no bandwidth or the networking conditions, you know, degrade, it changes its algorithms to, to basically give you better performance in exchange of quality. Let's see if it got better. Yeah, I think it's faster. To be honest, like from a certain distance from the screen, I don't think it matters, but you, you can see like the pictures get much, much worse for sure. So that's the idea. I give you better acceleration, but I screw you up on the pictures. Yeah, I make you think you need glasses. Yeah, that's awesome. So let's take a look at IE. Yeah, it's really, really degraded the quality. Yeah. So let's see how the speed is. Well, better. But again, it's still not perfect and the audio is very choppy. But better for sure, better. Let me close. And I guess that's it. So now the question that everyone is probably asking is, how much? How much do I pay for this improvement? From what I know, I ran a couple like you know searches on Google. What I can see is around a hundred, a hundred and ten dollars US per user. So, given that price point, is it worth? In my particular opinion, given the price point and what I saw in terms of improvements. At a hundred and ten bucks per user, it's not worth, in my opinion, because for uh, less you can probably get Quest View Workspace that has their EOP. It may be a little bit more or less. I'm not sure, but from what I remember, it starts at a, a close to a hundred, like ninety nine dollars per user, or you can of course in, in the two hundred and fifty three dollar range you are now on, on, on Citrix territory and we know for sure ICA HDX uh, will perform well so again at this price point I cannot recommend the product if it was 20 25 30 bucks per user mm, probably but not a hundred and ten that's it guys, thanks for watching.